All right, what's happening, guys? As you can see, where the fuck, where the hell is all of our vehicles? Oh, it's because we got so many jobs. All of our equipment, we're using it right now. The only thing we aren't using is the extractor. We already extracted all the water. But yeah, there's a reason that there's no vehicles and equipment in the warehouse. We got multiple jobs, and today we're gonna show you exactly what we've been working on. We got one job where four apartments got water damage because someone on the second floor, um, they had a leak in their bathtub and it just spread out to multiple units below her to the side of her. Um, so that's four units we gotta take care of. And that's just one job. Now we have another job that uh, I think his um, water filter system like failed or something and anyways it's water damage um we haven't looked at the job yet we're gonna go do that right now um but yeah i'll keep you guys updated uh we're gonna start demo work on the water job with the apartments with the lady with her bathtub flooding we're gonna start demo work there um otherwise yeah great week already to start it's monday and we're we're moving so I'll catch you guys once we get there. All right, guys, we just got to the first job site. Gonna assess the damages, see what we need to do. How's it going, man? Do you know what what, what happened? The sewage. Um, oh, that's yeah. I got you. That's yeah. why I was like, I was like, man. Yeah. <laughs> so what's happening, guys? Is he had a sewage leak um one of his pipes got clogged disgustingly enough and it burst and what you saw just then was the aftermath of that it wasn't too bad um you know we had to cut out the drywall and get to the pipe but you know that water that sewage water went into the floorboards um, down there. We might have to take up all the floorboards and go from there, you know. Um, we got to dispose, obviously, of the sewage water floorboards, if that is the case. Hopefully it didn't go too far. Hopefully it didn't soak in. Hopefully it was just a little bit that was on the surface. Um, we'll see. We're going to test it out. We got our moisture meter, our thermal camera. Um, we're gonna see what the hell, you know, what's going on, see what we gotta do. I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, as you can see, that's all. <sighs> Sewage water. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Exactly what you're thinking. Fucking disgusting. Oh, we're moving all this shit up. Hopefully they can somehow recover it. Oh boy. God damn, it's fucking disgusting. All these four boards, yep, they're soaked. It's pretty shit, huh, Ozzy? Yeah. <laughs> and it might, we might get an investment job, but I can use two. Yeah, Okay, guys, we took up all the floorboards. We're gonna see. Now we're gonna extract all the water from the basement floor. Uh, we got our extractor right here. Getting it set up, feeding it all the way down. Yeah, but all the floorboards are taken up. We're gonna extract all this water out, put some fans, put some dehues, and we'll call it a day here. That was a pretty quick job. Pretty, 
um, sewery, but we got it done. So yeah, we'll let you guys see the extractor part, um, and then we'll be on to the next job. We got that room and this room to all extract. Disgust. You can't you can't smell through the screen, but if you could, it was not nice. Start. All right, guys, we got the water extracted, sewer water extracted. We're gonna, uh, we just set up fans and dehumidifier downstairs. What's up, Hera? So, yeah, we got it all set up down. Now we're just trying to figure out how to get the power to work. So um, we're hooking it up to a bunch of different breakers because the power's been tripping this whole time. Um, but yeah, we're just finishing up the job. As soon as we get the power situated, we'll turn on all the fans, all the dehues, and on to the next job. All right, guys, we made it to the next job. Um, we started working on this over the weekend. Um, one lady's apartment, uh, it had a leak, but unfortunately it went to multiple different apartments. We already cleaned one this weekend, but we still got some more work to do here. So let's take a gander. They had to move all that shit out there. Yeah, all, upstairs and downstairs, not all of it downstairs, yeah. just the bedroom downstairs. Yeah. All right guys, we're in first apartment where it's flooded. That's the one where it started in the bathroom. Um, as you saw, we had a ton of fans and dehues in that, in that room, in that bedroom. It is hotter and humid as hell in that, in that room. Probably gonna make some flood cuts today. Get rid of some of that drywall that got affected around the walls. Cut them out, get ready for replacement. Yeah, so two foot flood cuts all around is probably what we're gonna be doing. Finish off the day today. Um, then we're gonna come back tomorrow, go to this lower unit that's right below this apartment and uh, finish up with the ceiling. The ceiling has asbestos. So we're gonna be doing the flood cuts today, asbestos tomorrow. We're just working on this upstairs unit. And yeah, getting shit done. All right, what's up guys? Day two, we're back at the apartment. Um, we just uh, gotta get the drywall cut out. Hopefully the guys have done that already. Yeah, because if the drywall is cut out, then we just need to high or call our drywall guy and he'll come replace the drywall. Um, so we're gonna check on what they need. They need help right now. Uh, yeah, going up to the apartment. Let's see what's up. All right guys, as you can see, we got this whole place laid out. Chalk lines ready. We're gonna get this replaced, so. I should mention that this bathroom was uh, the bathtub had a little leak in it. And I'll show you the damage. Well, obviously this room is damaged, but I'll show you downstairs what the damage is like. All right, so we already took out the padding of the carpet below us. Fortunately, we don't have to do too much work down here, but as I pan the camera up, yeah, those are some uh, pretty big bubbles for comparison because the GoPro messes up. My hand is pretty much almost on it right now. It's like bigger than my hand. Um, yeah, it was just unfortunate. The lady upstairs um, the water leaked into here. It also leaked 
into this laundry room over here. Yeah. So the water, as you can see, damaged the ceiling of this laundry area as well. So we're gonna have to demo all this stuff out. Oh, but regardless, um, that's what we're here to do. So those holes, just so you know, is for asbestos testing. So someone came in and uh, they just took out pieces of the ceiling um, and they're testing it for asbestos. So if it comes back positive, then we gotta get rid of this ceiling, obviously, if it has asbestos. And we're gonna be demoing the ceiling. And obviously we have to get rid of pretty much everything in the ceiling. So that's the gist of what's going on. Um, I'll, update you, I'll update you guys then. Are we, we're just, we're getting ready to cut out the drywall? All right, what's up guys? So yesterday I left the GoPro on and ended up dying while we were working. Um, either way though, we didn't finish the job. So now I can show you exactly what we did yesterday <coughs> and what we're gonna be doing today. We still need to finish, so I'm gonna go help the guys out. I brought him some munchkins from Dunkin' Donuts. I don't need, I don't need this one because I am diabetes. Mmm. Is hair upstairs? In the bar. Mm. You asking him? You stay with him? Or oh, you come in with me? We demo here. Where you were? You were demoing? Yeah. Okay. We demo here. Up. Evening. For the evening, in two feet or one feet. Nice. All right. I'll go see if Hera wants any of these and I'll come back and help you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, too, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Ooh. All right. Well, downstairs we're going to demo um, the ceiling, uh, the bathroom. Because you go to in the, in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. Give me the, the bed. The black bed. The back. Please, the black. The black bag? Yeah, please. <laughs> Sorry. I got you. Of course, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna demo that um, ceiling. Thank God that doesn't have insulation, but the bathroom, it's gonna be a little bit like yesterday. Here, let me show you what we did yesterday. So as you can see guys, we took out all the insulation, all the drywall. <laughs> Got the bathroom cooked pretty much. About to take out this flooring. Uh, just gotta give these bags to Leo. And I'm gonna come help my man. Ugh. Just really quick guys, I wanted to show you exactly what the hell happens when there's a ceiling. Oh, no, no, no. Huh? I'll be I'll, I'm getting my suit yeah yeah um, I'll go get my suit yeah, that's um, insulation hell right there insulation hell where's the suit where is the suit all right we pretty much finished up most of the demo work you don't go on there as you can see here, the whole ceiling cut out. The bathroom, all cut out. Pretty much looks the same upstairs as you saw. Except the ceiling's not cut out. Alright. Um, downstairs unit. The washing machine also had issues. Let's see. Lay it all. Cut out. 
Looking crazy in there. Yeah, we're just finishing up the detail right now. And we should be out of here. They're fighting over there. What's up guys? We're back at the sewer water job. We're just demoing out um, the two rooms that were affected. As you can see, we're gonna be getting rid of this entire room right here. Nicely up. Over. Just two foot flood cuts. And one. Yeah, we're good. Now we're gonna get rid of all of it. It doesn't look like there's insulation, at least in some parts, so that'll make it a lot easier. That big pile right there. Yeah. So we are tearing it down here. All right, we're getting close to finishing the demo. Yeah. Should we got to clean up after? And yeah, nice. Let's see when it's done. All right, guys, we're pretty much done with the demo work. Let's check it out. The whole Another job done. Easy. So easy. That was quick. Only two hours. Kill it. Alright, so guys, we're back at another job. Uh, this time we're in Stonegate Parker, a little bit nicer property. Um, Barbos is going to tell us what the scoop is once we get inside. So, um, yeah, we'll see what's up. Water leak. Was it in here? The leak came from in here? All this right here, bro. Damn. All this. All this, all you can see right past all this. Look at this, bro. Bro, you ever seen so much gold that it turned into mushrooms? What the fuck? Oh, here. Bro, you can see a little bit. No way. What? That, that is insane. What the? Same way, punch it close. It literally grew mold for so long that mushrooms are growing. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen anything as absurd as that. Wow, guys, as you probably saw. Ugh. That mold was some of the worst most um, formed whatever you want to say about it I've never seen mold grow so long that mushrooms pop out those aren't the magic mushrooms that you want I bet if you ate one of those you get like uh, what is it yellow fever or something like that some disease if you ate that type of mushroom but anyways we're taking up just the flooring today in that house in the basement it's a big ass basement it's a very beautiful house but that is crazy that that mold was growing for so long there's so much of it and it's so uh, prominent and pronounced ah uh, but tomorrow Hopefully it'll be our last day at the apartments that we've been working at.
we'll see what progress we can make on that house tomorrow um yeah that mold is really bad so thank you all so much for watching and see you next time what's up guys we just got a ton of new equipment and a new van let me show y'all right now So right here, we got about three times as many fans. Another DHU, two more DHUs, and one more air filter, or air scrub, yeah, air filter. Um, we only had this many fans before. Now we got this whole row of them. The reason we did this is we had a moment where we actually needed more in order to run more jobs and we couldn't you know we already took on too many jobs and you know if we can't take on a job because we don't have the equipment we're losing money so we had to buy this van as well so what's special about this van well first of all it needs to get wrapped it's pretty new pretty shiny you can see me Hello. Um, the good thing about this van is inside, let me see if I can show. So right here, this little guzzler thing right here. Um, so what happens is when someone's house floods, when their water heater in their basement explodes for example and the water just goes everywhere like in the carpet it seeps under the carpet um, into the padding um, we need to extract the water so what this does is it uh, it's an extractor within the van so instead of us having to lug down this big ass extractor we could just hook a tube up to the van feed it down into or wherever um got flooded and extract the water directly into the van um that's just gonna save us a lot of time and energy honestly two things that are very important besides you know money in a business time and energy um So this, this holds, I believe, 10 gallons, 10 gallons of water. And of course, we just dump out the water um, at some landfill or whatever. We just dump it out and we can reuse it again. It makes it a lot easier. It's more capacity. Um, but yeah, with the addition of this, as you can see, our old old van and then we got it this year compared to our new van this thing is massive compared to, compared to this guy yeah so this added equipment added vans the only thing we really need is just more people now um we got all the equipment we got a new van um we got the jobs um and every time we get the jobs we just hire temp workers for the moment but with the purchase of all this equipment, the new van, I'm expecting us to scale pretty quickly here. So just wanted to update you guys on getting all that equipment in. So thank you all for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you at the next job.